Ten Hag has a major issue with his fullbacks and his wingers, and that problem is that none of the fullbacks or wingers that he has at his disposal are compatible when playing together in the system that Ten Hag wants to play. If you look at the two fullbacks and the two wingers from the opening two games, you can see the problem. Neither Shaw or Wambasaka are capable of inverting infield and playing alongside Casemiro, and so have to take up these wider positions on the flanks. But further up the pitch, this is also the case with Garnacho and Anthony, who both can't really operate in central positions either. And so this leads to both the wingers and the fullbacks retaining wider positions in possession. And so with Fernandes and Mount also positioned high up the pitch, when there is a turnover and the opposition looks to break through the centre of the pitch, there's massive amounts of space either side of Casemiro, and just as Wolves did in the opening game and Tottenham did in the second game, the opposition is able to just completely drive through the centre of the pitch, running at the back line and pushing United back into their defensive third. But what can Ten Hag do to solve this? But before I go any further, are you looking to dramatically improve your fantasy football points score from last season? Well, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Fantasy Football Fix, which is the perfect tool for anyone who wants to get the best possible start to this FPL season, as they provide an Elite 11 team reveal, which allows you to track fantasy football's greatest ever managers in real time. With over 82 top 10,000 and 61 top 5,000 finishes. And just in my opinion, if you're not using this and someone else is, you're at a massive disadvantage. But not just that, Fantasy Football Fix also allows you to see the pre deadline captain ownership data. The assistant manager tool also allows you to unlock transfer optimization. And you can also get predicted prices data to potentially get an advantage in the long run by increasing your team's overall value. And alongside this, they also have stats from Opta, they have predicted player points and much, much more and I personally will definitely be using Fantasy Football Fix and I'll be setting up my own Fantasy Football League so I'll put a code somewhere either on the screen or in the description so not only can you join my league but you can also use Fantasy Football Fix to try to beat me as well and so I'll leave it linked in the description for you to go to after this video. Well first and foremost I think Ten Hag has to take some of the blame for this not just for the system that he's playing but also for the personnel selection that he makes not just in who he's chose to start the opening two games, but the players he's decided to bring into this squad. If we forget that Anthony's been playing completely abysmal and plays like he's got two weak foot, and just look at the type of player he is, he's a winger who's going to hold his width on the flank, not really move infield into central positions. And so from a tactical point of view, you'd probably want a right back who can invert infield and essentially be like another central midfielder when United have possession. And this isn't just because it will allow United to create a box-shaped midfield, which is what Ten Hag seems to want, keeping Mount and Fernandez high up the pitch and having a double pivot of the right back alongside Casemiro, but it also means that when United do lose possession, with Anthony very wide and Mount pushed high up the pitch, Casemiro isn't going to have these massive spaces to cover because the right back is inverted alongside him, essentially creating a double pivot and the rest defense of a 3-2 with that double pivot in front of a back three of Shaw, Lissandro, Martinez and Varane. And because it seems like Ten Hag wants to use a similar type of winger on the left hand side with either Garnacho or Rashford holding their advanced width rather than moving in field, it's then also preferable to have a left back who's comfortable either holding a position in a back three or inverting in field into a central position as well. Luke Shaw on the left hand side is definitely comfortable playing almost as a left sided centre back in a back three in possession having the passing and ball carrying ability to progress the ball down that left hand side. However, he like Tyrell Malassia isn't really suited to inverting in field and playing more like a central midfielder, not really having the press resistance or the awareness or the technical ability in tight areas to be suitable for that role. And Wambasaka on the right side is even more limited, not really having the passing ability to play that deeper position and definitely not suited to inverting in field and playing as a central midfielder, as even on the right flank when he receives a ball in a lot of space, he does doesn't look as comfortable in possession as you would want your right back to be and so inverting in field and playing in a central position where he's going to get pressurised with his back to goal a lot quicker is definitely not the role that wan should be playing. And I think that will upset a minority of people who do really like wan and he is an elite 1v1 defender and tackler however you can't just have a player because they excel in one attribute. Because in the modern game, particularly with the fullback position, you need to excel in multiple different positions on the pitch and have a wide range of attributes, which wan just doesn't. If wan was still playing at Crystal Palace, I don't think anyone would look at him and see him as a Ten Hag fullback. And in all honesty, I think he'd probably excel in a more defensive system, maybe under a manager like Jose Mourinho or Antonio Conte, potentially playing as a part of a back three in that right-sided centre-back position, but playing as a right-back in Ten Hag system, a system which heavily relies on the fullbacks to have this positional versatility, being able to essentially play as a central midfielder at times during certain phases of the play. Wan-Bissaka in the long term is 
definitely going to need to be upgraded. Maybe it's not this summer, but I think definitely next summer. United definitely need to be looking to move on wan and reinvest that money, and potentially Dalot as well if he doesn't progress in the way I think he should this season. If you were to put Benjamin Pavard in this team at right back and maybe someone like Teo Hernandez at left back, that dramatically changes United's system and I think that would solve a lot of problems. I'm surprised that Ten Hag, who was apparently so ruthless with Ronaldo, hasn't looked at the fullback positions and seen the major issues that lie there, as it's affecting the whole team. Players like Mount, even Anthony as well, are really struggling because they don't have the fullbacks behind them who can allow them to play in the role that Ten Hag wants them to play in in this system. Ten Hag even needs to change how he uses the fullbacks or how he uses the two free eights ahead of Casemiro and the wingers as well. As when you look at the roles that the fullback, the wingers and the free eights are playing, it looks like they're all playing in different systems and it's just not working at all and it's leaving massive amounts of space in the centre of the pitch. But what is my solution to this problem? Well in the build up phase I would definitely look to use a double pivot because I don't think Casemiro is good enough to play as a single pivot when he's under pressure as I just don't think he has the press resistance that someone like Rodri has. Again, to the low IQ individuals, this doesn't mean he's not a good player. This is just one of the weak points in his game which most players do have which would come from starting in that 3-3-2-3 shape with Mount and Fernandes ahead of Casemiro, but have Mount drop alongside Casemiro, pulling the central midfielder out of that space, and have Sancho move in field, creating a box shape alongside Fernandes ahead of that double pivot. As the opposition central midfielder tracks Mason Mount's move deeper into the defensive third, this is going to open up the space for Sancho to move into. And so the opposition's left back is going to have a dilemma, because if he follows Sancho in field, he's going to leave massive amounts of space on United's right for wan to potentially run into, which leaves the opposition extremely vulnerable if United are able to switch play with a long pass quickly. However, if he holds a position in the back line, this should give United a numerical advantage and allow Sancho space between the lines. But I still see an issue as if you want someone to exploit the space in a wide position, it probably isn't wan as you want a fullback who's essentially got the attacking output of a winger to really take advantage of this, with players like Jeremy Frimpong or Atraf Hakimi being perfect for this role. And if they were in this United side with this sort of tactical play, they would really cause the opposition problems, as allowing players with the ball carrying and dribbling ability of Hakimi and Frimpong this much space and allow United to get into the final third with one switch of play. However, I think everyone would agree that wan is probably not the fullback you want trying to drive down the flank like a winger and isolating the opposition's fullback in a 1v1 as it's just not really his game. The other issue I see with this is that Mason Mount probably at the moment isn't that suited to playing in a single pivot as I'm not quite sure he has the elite level press resistance that United need. And so he'd probably be better playing in this Sancho role starting wide before moving into a central position between the lines. But the issue for United is they don't really have any other options who can play this kind of hybrid 3-8-6 role alongside Casemiro. You do have Christian Eriksen but he has other issues elsewhere, particularly out of possession. And so this is why I say from a tactical point of view, don't really suit the system that Ten Hag should be trying to play with this United side. And so my biggest issue with Ten Hag at the moment isn't really a tactical one or the system he's trying to play, but it's his ability to identify not just players who are good enough to play in individual roles, but bringing in players who have the attributes to get the best out of the other players around them. If you want to use two natural wingers holding their width like Anthony and Garnacho, then you need fullbacks behind them who can fill central positions both in and out of position. But if you're going to use players like Mason Mount or Sancho from the wide positions, then you need fullbacks with high level ball carrying and dribbling ability who can provide the output down the flanks that top level wingers do. And the central midfield is a massive issue on its own so I will be doing a separate video on that. So if you do like this sort of video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you do get notified when that video comes out. And you can check the description for more videos like this as well.